The following is a comfortably zoned radio network production. Yeah, Ralph. Hey, Lenny. Did you catch up with the fellow from uh, Peck? The fellow from the studio. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. I'm a, so we're you're, good. You're, you guys are good, and you're talking, right? Yeah. Good. Um, if you'd like, we will. I'll skip a beat or two, and go real slow, and we'll do a Lenny Randall's hot corner. Okay. 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 Here we go. One, two, three. We are back. Lenny Randall's Hot Corner. This is the Comfortably Zoned Radio Network. I'm Ralph Tycho, and the man is here, Lenny Randall. How are you, number 11? Hey, hey, how are you? Just arriving at Troy Festival Day. Here is the head coach at UCR at Tony Gwynn Stadium. I have three prospects with me. One is Caden, JT, and Caden from uh, Temecula area on travel ball team and from our academy. Right. We want to shout out. Who wants to talk first? <laughs> We've been practicing broadcasting. And I, if you had a visual of this, somebody get a visual of this with their phone so we could post it. Got your, got your phone? Of the stadium. The stadium's over here. Yeah, take a picture, and uh, and I'm going to send it to Ralph, because I'm talking on the phone. I can't take a picture. All right, Lenny, let yeah, me ask go ahead. you this. Where does Troy coach? He's been a guest on this before. I know. Tell our audience. Troy Percival is a head coach, former angel, and uh, former catcher that turned pitcher. Yes. And a lot of people don't realize that he was a catcher before it became a pitcher in relief. And then you know, I was discovered, I guess, by Sosa, that, man, you thought just as good as the guys in relief. Maybe you ought to think about it. And now he's head coach after a World Series MVP at the Angels. He's head coach at Riverside College. Uh, and let me, t- uh, let University me give Riverside. you a little, little trivia. The late Howie Gershberg, mm-hmm. a pitching guru, guru in the minor leagues for the Angels, was instrumental in changing uh, Troy from a catcher to a pitcher. And uh, when you see Troy, tell him that I have his tops contract, a copy of his tops in my hot little hand. So when he comes up to California, he can to Northern California, he can have it. Or when I get down there. But my point, my point is Howie Gershberg was the coach of St. John's in a very, very famous game. It was when um, they played Yale and um, Ron Dolling Ron Dolling pitched against um, uh, John Franco of St. John's. And uh-huh. I don't remember what it was. They each pitched a double no hit no hitter or whatever it was. Very famous game. Howie Gershberg was the pitching coach at St. John's. And in the summers, he would be a minor league coach. He'd go down to the very low A leagues and uh, teach guys, welcome them, welcome them to big, in, into pro ball. Um, and he and um, his fellow Coaches, um, uh, Tom Kochman comes to mind with the Angels, um, and Zeke Zimmerman and Or Forchek. Those guys did great work in developing guys like Jim Edmonds and Salmon. Um, all these guys came up um, pretty much together, and they made the Angels. Um, contenders for a number of years. So, good memories of Troy Percival. Um, he he was the closer when they won against the Giants in 
in uh, 2002, I think it was, maybe a little earlier. So introduce me to your young prospects, if you okay. would, Lenny. I'm going to have uh, Caden speak first or JT. Who's first? Okay. Uh, Caden's 13 years old, and uh, Temecula, he's been training with us. You'll see him posted on the, on the phone and talk with Ralph Tycho, company's on radio. Hey, very nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you, too. All right. What what position do you play, and how did you get into baseball? Um, well, I play first base and outfield, and I got into baseball by playing. I've just been playing since I was little. Okay. Who, uh, who took you to games and introduced you to the game itself? Um... It was just through the family. Everyone played baseball. Oh, good. Good. And um, how did you meet Lenny? Uh, it's complicated. Uh, well, so I met him at the batting cages. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. And how has he helped you, he in particular? Um, he's helped me... Uh, with my power and strength. Okay. And uh, how about how about scholastically? What do you uh, what do you like to do? Uh, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, math and science. Okay. If you didn't play baseball, and if you d your passion wasn't baseball, what would it be? Um. Electronics and r robotics and stuff. Okay. So you have a plan just in case you, uh, being a pro baseball player doesn't work out. You use your brain a little bit. Am I right? Yeah. All right. Nice. Very nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you. I'll be rooting for you. Next, uh, next Ralph, we have JT. He's an outfielder. Baseball and football player plays more football. He's a wide receiver. Okay. Nice. To, nice. Oh, my you. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Let me ask you this: What What do you learn in football that helps you in baseball, and what do you learn in baseball that helps you in football? Um. Uh. Probably like the the speed and agility in football. Okay. Will help like to steal bases in baseball. Okay. Now, is it true that you can improve your speed by improving how you start, how, that quick first step that you get? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And you practice that? Uh, yeah, I practice it almost every day. Okay. Um, how'd you meet Lenny? Um, through the W training facility. Okay. Pitcher Mark, RB Goodard. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked your buddy. What, yep. would, what is your favorite subject in school if it wasn't for baseball? What would be your passion? What, what do you like to do? I would like to engineer. Engineer? Oh, all right. All right. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. So you got studying down, and you realize that the studying is every bit, if not more important, oh, yes. than the sports. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. The, um, I like to hear that. That's the name of the game. Because, you yep. know, with all good intent, um, you got to have a backup in case your athletic uh, career doesn't, doesn't make it for one reason or another. And even if it does... You don't want to be just a jock, just an athlete. You want to be well-rounded. You want to play music and the arts and and all of it. So you came to the right place with Lenny, I'll tell you that. Yes, I did. All right. All right. Um, anybody else to talk to? Uh, Yes, this is Taven Lamprey. Very nice. Six, eight. About 200 pounds. He has... Scholarships to UCLA. Here he is. All right. Nice. That's a lie. 
That's <laughs> that's a lie, huh? Set yeah. the rec- set the record straight, young man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where are you going to school? Uh, the W training facility that Lenny and his son runs. All right. Son is Bradley, by the way, if anybody yeah. out there doesn't uh, know that. Um, what do you like best about the W school? Um, just the workout part of it. Uh, getting the work before high school. Yeah, I feel like I'm improving a lot um, going into high school for sports. Okay. And Bradley's a really good coach towards uh, speed and agility-wise and increasing my speed with just any type of sport. Okay, so there are definitely techniques. It's just not what you're born with. You can increase your, your speed with certain drills and certain techniques. Right. So, um... Beautiful, beautiful. Um, let me ask you this. What do you study in school that you're good at? Um, I was, I'm a, math is actually, I'm, a, I'm pretty good at math. Okay. And um, what if would be your passion if sports weren't a factor? What would you like to be doing if sports don't work out for you? You know, I haven't, I haven't really thought about it, but, oh, you know, hopefully I'm trying to go to college, maybe get a doctorate degree, you know, just have that backup because, you know, sports is pretty hard to keep going in after college. Absolutely, and some make it and some don't, but if you can get a good free ride and you can develop your academic skills, you're going to have it made because the things you learn in sports, like teammate, teammates and teamwork, are, uh, will help you in life. And um, you sound like you're f- having fun with it. Am I correct? Oh, uh, yes, sir. All right. All right. And um, you'll get to meet Troy tonight, and that's got to be exciting. Um, yeah, for sure. Tell him the top guy says hello. Okay, I will. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Here's Lenny. you being here. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Ralph, I'm going to take some pictures here, and I'm going to try to meet uh, some of the coaches so that kids can meet them. All right. Take pictures of players now, and uh, Troy's in the bullpen with their starting pitcher. Games at 6 o'clock, folks. So I'll be posting our celebrating the, the rivalry, San Diego against Riverside. Beautiful. And I'll put this up post-haste. And I just want to tell you what a pleasure it is, Lenny, and what a blessed life you have to be around the kids. And, and see. Tally says hi. Okay. Uh, I'll tell everybody, ciao, hola, toda riba, shalom, and... And I, will, I hope it's a tie game so we can stay here all night. <laughs> oh, man. See, that that's the spirit of baseball, loving baseball. You, you don't have your clock, your 30-second clock. No Do, clock. It doesn't matter. It's, baseball is timeless. And yeah, we, people don't realize that's the advantage. You want to yeah. slow it down by taking away some of the skills, the, 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 give them – Automatic walk, this, that, and the other thing. It's not right. It's yeah. not right. But it's awesome. We will talk another time, my friend. Talk soon. And There's about 10 scouts here waiting to meet Company Zone Network. Beautiful. And we didn't tell them about the new radio show we we're producing. It's called Comfortably Zoned in a Vat of Pine Tar. And it stars um, you, Lenny and Peter Golenbach and myself and a host of other contributors from the Co- Comfortably Zone Radio Network, authors and sports writers and players, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun. And um, I really enjoyed meeting your your protégés this evening. Thank you. All right. And, God bless you all. And love all right. baseball. We'll talk right. soon. Talk soon. Here's Troy walking out now. Talk All to you. All right. Adios, Adios. everybody.